circles. We are from A to Z Books. I'm Allie. And I'm Zoe. Hello. Hello. Hope again. you are enjoying Haunttober so far. Uh, just a reminder, as you read the things that we talk about or talk about the things that we talk about, use hashtag Haunttober, Haunttober on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And Tumblr. And all Tumblr, things. if you're looking at it on Tumblr. And you can also follow us on all of those platforms. That'd be great. That would be awesome. All right. So to get started with our stuff, we're going to tell you about our the first week of Haunttober, where we read <laughs> Miss Peregrine's Home for Part Peculiar of it? Children Part of it? and Hollow City by Ransom Riggs, who's an amazing person. He's so wonderful. At person. the beginning of Haunttober, we had the most ill time. We we couldn't. We were so busy writing with homework and just life. Life happens, so we didn't get very far in that. No, sorry. not very far at all. I think I'm on page 26. Oh, see, I got to page, like, 65. 26. But, I don't know. We had a lot to do. It's we had not... a lot to do, and then when I was done, I was just like, I don't want to read and pay attention. <laughs> I just want to curl into a ball. It's not so... that we didn't like them. Yeah, I'm really already very them. interested. But they're, it's not a book you can sit down and just, like, bang it out really quickly. Yeah. You have to kind of think about it. There's a lot going on and a lot of different characters. So We will be returning to this. There is technically four weeks to October. That extra week is in there as a cushion That's to the true. readathon for That's what true. for whatever we couldn't get mm -hmm. um, done between starting it and starting the reread for Harry Potter on Halloween. So, so probably, probably we'll revisiting read. this at the end of October slash November. Or just reading it throughout or the month and seeing, point. just kind of picking it up when we feel like it. Yeah. So. But eventually there will be physical written reviews of these. Hopefully soon. Tell us what you think, though, if you actually did read it or read along with us or have read it before. Um, have you read Miss Peregrine's? Do you want to read Hollow City? Have you read Hollow City? Let us know. Is it your favorite book in the world? Do you hate it? All right, so... Okay. Now, it's October week two, starting today, and we are reading The Merciless by Danielle Vega. And The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. Don't look at my bookmark. <laughs> I use receipts and bookmarks. Don't. I've used weirder. That's okay. I used, used the weirdest You've used thing. another book. I've used a, a pair of scissors. <laughs> okay, that works. I think there that's you the, go. That one or a Parmesan cheese packet. One of, the, that, one of those two are my weirdest things. You like that from Delivery Pizza? Yeah. Yeah, I used one of those. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a book for All right. We also have the Graveyard Book um, Graphic Novel Volume 1 from the library. So I'll be reading this. While I read that, Hopefully. and we'll do a video comparison. She'll mm -hmm. do a physical review of that. I'll do a physical yeah. review of this, and then and I'll then probably read this too. She probably will, <laughs> since I have it for yeah. like two more weeks. Um, and then we'll do a video comparison for you guys. I'm really interested to see where it, like it picks off, picks where it leaves off um, at the end because this is volume one, and there's only one graveyard book, so I don't know if they're taking it. Yeah. In a different direction, or if it's the same and they're just going until the Ongoing, end and then yeah. just stopping. And volume two came out September 30th. So. I think. We think. According to the Googles. According to the Googles, it came it out. It came out September 30th, but we haven't seen it anywhere. Yeah, and we I haven't kind of heard frequent about our it. bookstore often. <laughs> Too often to not have noticed it. So, so it's yeah. interesting that we haven't. Yeah, but it was cool. They were hyping this at Comic Con a lot because um, yeah. it had just come out then. So, yeah, it hasn't been out very long. It has not been out for very long. So, so. But I'm excited. And, yeah. And do you want to talk a little bit about... You're only a few, little bit into I'm it. I'm only... Though. Let's see. I'm like, you started it today. page 30, and it's really good. The beginning is really intense, and then it kind of mellows out to like, oh, it's so cute. Yeah. So, but I know it's going to get intense at the end, because I know that the guy from the beginning comes back, and... Creepy things creepy happen. Things happen. I also just want to show off the first page of this book, because uh -huh. it's so cool. And it, it just really says... Cool. There was a hand in the darkness, and it held a knife, and I'm kind of in love with it. So, yeah, there's the beginning, if you wanted to know what happened. Amazing. Yeah. There's also a special edition out in stores right now that has extra illustrations in it, Neil Gaiman's notes from when he was writing it, and a few other things. It's, a, it's the same cover, but the mm -hmm. color scheme is gold and black instead of blue and black. Also, the one I have as well has his speech when he accepted his Newberry yeah. and his... So that's pretty cool. The other one... So check that out. They have them in libraries, they have them in stores, whatever you want to do it. It's super easy to find because yeah. it's Neil Gaiman. And everyone awesome. loves him. 
He's also doing a readathon this month called All Hollows Reads. So if you're doing that, cool. We're kind of ish doing it. Tag us in it too. We want to be. Yeah, ta it. tag us yeah. Hauntober and, and All Hollows Reads. So and maybe Neil Gaiman yeah. will see it. And, and then be like, who us. are these people? And why are they geeky? Anyway, so I'm about 80 pages into I'm The Merciless. Sorry. I had nothing else to do at work today. All right. So, yeah, actually, I'm exactly on page eight. There you go. Um, this book has gotten a lot of hype for being a lot disturbing. Of like, like, like out, way out there. Ultimately disturbing. It's got a pentagram on the front. Which you know it's already going to be And on the like back crazy. it says, forgive us, Father, for we have sinned. And then the, I tweeted slash Instagram these pictures today already. But and then when you open it right away, it says... Um, from a ch Hold on, I'm trying to cover things. Oh, whatever. You can know I got from the San Diego Library. Who cares? It says, for mature audiences only. So, yeah. Things um, So far, the only thing creepy has been a skinned cat. There you go. Um, but it's a cool it's, cover, too. It is a cool cover. Seems I like nice. that it's, like, not... It has a, doesn't have a dust jacket. I don't know why yeah. I like that, but I do. Um, the way I've been describing it to people is it's, like... The Click series, the middle grade series, or Gossip Girl, if the clicks were Satanic. Satanic. Yeah. It, it also reminds me of a book by Lauren Miracle called Rhymes with Witches, which is about yeah. popular girls and witchcraft as well. Kind yeah, of. I'm kind of just waiting for the other shoe to drop at this point. I'm like, I'm just waiting for someone You're to You're like almost halfway done, too, ritual. so I'm sure. I know. I'm there. like, in the next few pages, that's what I'm not going to read before bed tonight. <laughs> You're going to cry like, before you go to bed tonight. Oh, yeah, I just opened to a random page, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> things are happening. There's things happening. So things I'm almost happening. the creepy, and I'm so excited. So that's yeah. this week. And then next week, what are you reading? I'm reading Asylum. Which is on your... Yeah, by Madeline Rue, and it's on my nook. And so I guess I'll show you to you guys you can on my show nook. You can show the... like, look at my Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm reading Dark Harvest by Norman Partridge, and he is our supervisor at work. He's my so boss. He's your boss. Not my boss, but we're still friends. He's really, so he's a really cool guy. He writes a bunch of horror fiction, and um, he just has got like a really awesome way of getting you into the story. He's got that like deep announcer voice too. So <laughs> he does. I remember when I read Dark, really when I read Dark Harvest. Um, cause he gave me a copy of it for free and signed it and like wrote me a little message. It was very sweet. Um, and he read the first page aloud to me and I was like, oh, so, I didn't know he did that. That's really cool. You should take it to him. I will. He'll do it. He told so, me too. I told him I got his book in and he was like, don't read it with the lights off. Like you have to, you can't read it in the dark. It'll scare it's you. It's so I was good. Like, I know that. I'm not going to read it in the dark. It's a pretty quick read. It's just a cute little Halloween story. Yeah. It's actually almost dystopian. I want. I'd want to call it like a dystopian Halloween story. And this is the original cover, right? Yeah, that's the original cover. The other cover, I love the other cover art. <gasps> it looks very like <gasps> gothic country it very, horror. Yeah, it, you know, it takes place in the middle of nowhere, but it's awesome. I know the first sentence. He read, he told me the first sentence today when I showed him. I think. I think it's his pride and joy. Oh, yeah, yeah. A Midwestern town. You know its name. You were born there. It's so cool. That is so cool. So, I'm really excited to read this. Yeah, I read another book. He's he got goes several. To, he goes to a bunch of horror conventions up in yeah. Oregon. Like Oregon, and, and they're always, Washington, like, take place in, like, anyway. So, he's really cool. Give him a look-see. Um, yeah, we love him. We love him. We love All him. Right. And so then, our last thing on our agenda. Yeah. Is that we went to the bookstore today. We went to Barnes and Noble because like that's a we thing do that we do a lot. Yeah, and we <laughs> bought things. Not a lot of things, just one book each because we were trying to be good. We were trying really hard. Yes, and so we got. Well, okay, I got Poisoned Apples by Christine Hepperman. It is a book of fantasy poetry that meets like real teenage lives. It's feminist. It is so cute. I'm, like, in love with it. And I've already, like, found a few. I think I already have a favorite. Yeah, there's one. so many. If you open it and up, there's like, like, they're all amazing. pictures in here of they're different so things. And I'll just read you the poem on the inside cover because um, it's super cute. So it's a book of 50 poems. It's very short. But I feel like this is something that I'll go back to all the time. All right. So once upon a time, you were a princess or an orphan, a wicked witch, fairy godmother, prom queen, Valedictorian, team captain, big bad wolf, little Bo Peep. But you're more than just a hero or a villain, cursed or charmed. You're everything in between. You are everything. That's my favorite one. And it gives me chills. So That's my favorite one we've read It gave read me chills so when I read it in Barnes & Noble. It's giving me chills now, and I am in love with it. It's really cool. 
I think Epic Reads has been hyping this a they lot have too been recently. It. Mm-hmm. They have, I think they have a graphic on their website yeah. for it too. And so, so and if you haven't heard new. of Epic Reads, they're a pretty cool um, thing for that Harper Collins has. These two girls, Margo and Aubrey, who are amazing, and they hype books and they tell you all about everything that comes out. So if you don't all follow the them, stuff. if you're into YA and you don't follow them, you need to. You do because we <laughs> because we're addicted to Epic Reads. We are. So. So cool. you should be too. Yes, you should if you don't know that. And I got The Perilous Sea by Sherry Thomas, which is the... I'm dancing <laughs> for you. Chill out. <laughs> which is the second book in the Elemental Trilogy, which the first one is called The Burning Sky. It's the first review that I published uh, for, for magazine books. So I the series is like my child. I love it. And um, Is the inside pretty? The, the naked? Yeah. No. I mean, it's got the little... It's pretty. Like, it has the yeah. title in pretty script. Mine's but, got though. Because this is an offshoot of Harper, so they have their little tree thing that they always have on it. Oh, you can't really see it. But then it's got... Crazy nipples. Really pretty. I can't get in the screen. There we go. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to be hopefully in between all of the other books. We well, shouldn't we, be buying new books, but we are. And we're all that the stop library. Us? Never. Never stops us. All right. So... Well, thank you for tuning in and watching us. Remember to tell us how you are doing with Hauntober if you're following us along. Again, hashtag Hauntober. It's a very simple thing. Um, yeah. You can us. also at reply us at from Agency Books. Yes. Um, on all those platforms. So thank you for watching, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.